Okay, what I've done here is I've simply gone ahead and opened up the 5x9 beach card base. And notice it's 5x9, so I'm going to make sure that it does measure 5x9, which it does. In Silhouette, all you do is go to Send, and then usually it comes in at Simple. I'm going to change it from Simple to Line Color, because notice there are two different colors of lines. These are the score lines, which we always make green, and then the other cut lines are black. So I always do the score lines first. I'll do those changes to score, score those, and when that's done, I'll uncheck this and just do this with cut. The next thing that I would do is this. I will open up the other file, which is the 5x9 beach card frame, and say open that. And again, I'll do just the same thing. It's not a print and cut, so I would just say send. Rather than it being simple, because all of these things will cut, I'll change it to line color. And again, I'll change this one, whoops, from auto cut to score, the green ones. And after they're scored, then I will cut the black. For Cricut Design Space, I will simply go to Upload and then Browse and look for my base, Beach Card Base. Click on that to open it. Click on it. Say Upload. Click on it and insert it. It comes in like this. We want to make sure it's the right size, which it's supposed to be 5 by 9. So I'm going to make this 5 and hit Enter and then it makes it 5 by 9 exactly what I need. Click on this one, I can see it's green, so I'm going to change that from base cut to score. This one is also green. Remember I said we make them green if they're score lines. Change it to score. This one, green, score. And this one, green, score. This one will stay as the cut. The only other thing we need to remember to do in Cricut is to go ahead and attach these. And then we can simply go make it. And there we go. We've got, it's going to score first and then cut. Cancel. Same thing with the other piece. Let's go to Upload. Upload an image. Browse. This will be the frame. Beach card frame. Again, Upload. Click on it to insert it. And once again, it will come in like this over here. But first thing we need to do, always, 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 change the size. So we know the width is going to be 5. So I'll make that 5 and hit Enter. So that automatically made the height 9. Now I'll come over here and do the same thing I had done before. Click on this. Basic cut, nope, score. This one, it's a green line. Basic cut, no, score. What if I click on this? Notice it says multiple. We're going to ignore that one. We're only doing the green ones. So I'm going to do this one. Whoops, come over here in the layers panel and grab it. It's green. Score. And this one, it's green. That means score. Change it to score. Last thing we have to do is grab everything and attach it. If we don't attach it, when you go to make it, the score lines will be like this on one page and your cuts will be on another. So let's cancel that. And now if we attach and then make it, they stay on there perfectly, it will score first and then cut. So that's it. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you was when you go here and you're in silhouette, any of these that you can actually see the pictures are PNG files. If you hover over them, you can see that. So you will open them one at a time. Once you have it open, like this one right here, remember the most important thing, or there's two important things to remember. Here's the size that you need it to be, 4.669. So I would click on this, do the um, lock, and just the width, 4. 0.669 and hit enter. That's the size I need it to be. Unfortunately, both things can't fit on one, meaning the rope and this. Once I do the other important step, which is coming over here and putting on the registration marks. Okay. So I would now just go to file and print and I would print this. I would up my preferences to high. Okay. That's going to print just like that. 
And then we would do the same thing with Cricut. Let's go there real quick. Go to New, Replace, Upload, Upload an Image, Browse, same thing. Get the buoy and just say Complex and Continue. All of these should be transparent inside and outside. This is what it's going to cut like, but we want to print then cut, so highlight that. And click on this to insert it. Once again, the most important thing is to resize this so that it fits perfectly. How do we know the size? Again, just look right over here in the Layers panel. So I'll make sure the lock is locked and make this 4.669. Hit Enter. That's the exact size I need it to be. Say Make It. And then I would print it with my printer and be ready to go. And then cut it. Everything else will work exactly the same. So. The same thing would happen here after you've done the buoy. You would go to the rope, resize it, print it, cut. These. Resize, print, cut. Resize, print, cut. Resize, print, cut. And you do the exact same thing in Cricut. Resize, print, cut. And resize, print, cut. Okay, so here we are going to show you how to put all this together. And of course, there's different ways you can do it. Tammy and I have chosen to do different things inside of our dioramas. And we'll probably do different things again now. But these are all the components that you're going to get in the kit. I mean, you're going to get so many sentiments and just all kind of embellishments that you can print and cut out. And they're so cute. Like, look at all these turtles. There's at least three different types Oh, there are four different types of turtles. If you're a turtle lover like I am, this little turtles that you can use. And there are sharks and there are dolphins and starfish and two different kinds of boats. It's just a lot of fun. Lots of stuff for you guys to choose from. Different kind of sentiments, like I said. So Tammy and I are just going to get busy putting it together. Oh, I love this too. Look at the little umbrella and the chair. And there's an extra little chair there that you can put out on the beach, flip flops, all kinds of stuff. And they cut out beautifully. So I'm going to move this aside and we're just going to get started putting ours together. I think I'll just shove them out. So as the first thing you like to do, Tammy, is put the... Um, buoy on the front yeah over. so i can look through it and see where i put my stuff where it's going oh, that's a good idea okay so we're both using liquid glue yeah i need that little bit of wiggle room that you get to right and the nice thing about this card is, like I said, we've given you a bunch of sentiments like happy birthday or for the birthday boy, birthday girl. And then we've given you some blanks, too, so that you could write something in there yourself if you want. Or if you're using Cricut or Silhouette, you can, you know, have your machine printed on there before you print and cut. So, yeah, I see what you mean. I got to wheel this around until it fits. This is so cute. And then on the rope. Mine needs to go over just a tad. Thank God for liquid glue. Oh, I'm going to put the glue on the rope, I guess. That's better than... Still not so all of the Digi Chicks were kind of involved in getting this kit together since there are so many components to it. And speaking of the Digi Chicks, if you're watching this uh, on Friday, the 21st of May, 2021, uh, on Sunday, the Digi Chicks will be live again. This time, I don't remember. It Do is about, yeah, it's about thanking the men oh, and women who serve. That's right. Yes. It's going to be interesting to see what they come up with. I think it's going to be real interesting considering we have Stephanie from England that has different traditions for the servicemen and women celebrations 
than we do. So it's going to be interesting to find all that out. Well, other than um, on, and Bernie and Australia, I wonder what they call their police officers if if maybe they're using them as service people. Yeah. Mm. Do they call them coppers or something like that in England? In books. <laughs> in books, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, this one was the one called The Frame in the video that you just watched. And if you remember, there were the score lines. The first one closest to the opening is what is called a mountain fold. It pops up. And then the next one is a valley fold. So it goes like that. Okay. And then you do the same thing on this side, a mountain fold and a valley fold. And you can use your score thingy, my Bob, which I just saw mine a moment ago. But you don't really need to. You could be like Stephanie and use your scissors if you want to make sure that you get a really nice score. I think I wish I had just a little bit of sand on the bottom. So I'm wondering if I could probably still cut them. But then I'm wondering, you know, else I'm wondering, I'll probably mess this up now, but I was wondering if I took some of this here and went across. Maybe I should try it on something I'm not going to use, see what it looks like. I took this across on here. That could look a little bit sandy. I'm going to try it. The only thing is, I don't want to get it on this white edge down here. There we go. I'm going to try it.
Okay, so it looks like I'm getting to the sand a little bit now down here, don't you think? Because I want to grow a tree. <laughs> What were we saying yesterday when we were making it? There were two flip flops in there that looked like a guy's, and the little mermaid looked like she was wondering, Where did he go? <laughs> She's looking for her man. She found his shoes. <laughs> There's this one that says, in a world full of fish, be a shark. And at first we were all wondering what that meant. But then we did a Google search and it, it was really a neat thing. Um, I forget the fellow's name, but his dad was always encouraging him to not give up, to be a shark, to go after what you want, to don't quit. Now, what is that you're using? It's just those, uh, it's a glitter, clear glitter. Oh. And it just makes the sun kind of sparkle. Nice. Yes, I put my um, boat too close to my sun. And I don't. Let me see. I can see it. I better not move it. I can see it. Yeah. There's a little glossy accent around it. I just don't know how to use those glossy accents that well. They just make a blob. The trick is not letting no air get to it. So you have to hold it down. If you're going to do a complete coverage. But I cover the boat some. But when it comes to the water, I just draw waves. My, I think my problem is, remember I told you I cut the tip off of mine. So it's um, like really big opening maybe that's the issue probably so my first one i did the same thing Ugh. and then i ordered another one and now i'm sure to keep it closed <laughs> I'm not much of a talker when I'm busy because it's hard for me to think what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm adding more trees to the to the frame. Yeah, that'll be nice. 
just so the white will go away and it'll pop a little bit better. Now you can use a sponge and ink too instead of a marker. I got this marker and a set of markers uh, at Dollar General for three dollars and it just seems to work really good when you want to ink the corners the outside. I like you can give him movement move his little arms and legs kind of. <laughs> I'll probably overdo it with uh, little uh, dimensions, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> it always seems like, well, it just needs a little bit more. Let me peep over in there. Like he's being nosy. Should he go on the other side? Yeah. His head's turned that way. I'll put him right here. I'm just trying to decide where I want a Hawaii birthday boy. I'm not sure if I want him at the bottom or the top. Now, afterwards, I might tie a little bow out of uh, jute and put it right there. Okay. All right, so we're both done for now, right? And also, I'll probably wind up putting uh, glossy accents on these turtles because I love yeah. them. Plus, they'll last just a tad bit longer when Carter gets it. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a new bottle and I can use it. And then when it gets empty, I can put this into it. Since That's right. I messed up that thing. I had, it, to, I had to order me a new um, small glue just to get the, um, the bottle because mine kept stopping up. I done that. I cut me a big hole in it. Hmm. There, you'll be happy. I glossied up her hair. Oh, good. <laughs> well, um, all except for the bow, I think mine's done. And I might put a little something else on the back, like fun in the sun or something. Yeah. I like your tree <laughs> outside, too. I do, but I like, I want some on the inside right here, too, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe even over here, so you're peeking through, seeing the sharks. I love the sharks. Yeah, right? <laughs> Dude, I think it both turned out really cute. All right. That's it. If anybody would like to get this kit, we have it for, available for you over in our Etsy shop. Thanks for joining us. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Anything else, Tammy? Yeah, that's about yeah. it. Uh, also, uh, check out the other cards that from the kit one and two. I think you'll love them too. And the Digi Chicks on Sunday. Yes. I'll show some more card making. So again, thanks for joining us. Bye y'all. <laughs>